We're here to show you the uh, construction of the interior structure, the interior roadway in the tunnel. The northbound roadway is the lower one, southbound is the upper one. This is a ventilation corridor. This is the exit corridor. We have utilities in here and here, and then also 16 electrical rooms on this upper deck. As you know, we are constructing the interior structure as a follow-on activity to the tunnel boring. Uh, what you see here along uh, the segments are dowels used to hold the reinforcing steel cage. We place two corbels every other day. So the corbels are advancing at a rate of 54 feet every other day. The tunnel follows a horizontal alignment and a vertical alignment. The tunnel will wander, but the interior structure sits in the same place all the way through. So we have that 12 inch diameter bullseye that we're mining to, which means we can go six inches in any direction and still have enough space in here to accommodate the interior structure. So if we're here and say we've gone like three inches this way, then this corbel will be slightly larger than this. This one will be slightly smaller because we want to have these two ledges in exactly the same alignment through the tunnel. Once the corbels are in place, we follow up with the northbound roadway walls for the lower deck. We come in, we set a form, we install the rebar cage, we set the other form, we place the concrete for the northbound walls. There are two of those walls placed every other night on existing corbels. Once the interior walls are built, we build this deck. This is the deck for the exit corridor on the west side of the tunnel. Once that's in place, we go ahead and we put the upper deck in, the southbound roadway. And that's a pour that goes from here all the way over to the other wall of the tunnel. Once the upper deck is installed, what's remaining uh, from a cast in place concrete standpoint is building uh, the upper walls or the upper roadway. You can see up here on the wall, we've got a whole series of pipes. These are the pipes that feed everything to the TBM. But when the tunnel drive's complete, all of that pipe has to come out. That'll complete the uh, cast in place interior roadway structure. The only thing that's left is the lower deck. So once we've got the cast in place work done, then we're gonna come in and the lower deck is gonna be built with 32 foot wide, eight foot long precast concrete panels. We'll come in and just set those all the way the whole 9,000 foot length of the tunnel. When we get to this point here where everything's built except the lower roadway, the tunneling's done, we'll come in, put all those precast panels in for the lower roadway.